this year. Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Jason Valentine, sponsored by Click It RV Tri Cities. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. This is what we're waiting for the super blood moon eclipse tonight. I'll get to the timing in a bit. But why is it called a blood moon? Well, when there is a lunar eclipse, it turns red right before it goes away. So we're looking forward to that tonight. So your possible impacts, we do have that super blood moon eclipse tonight. And as we move into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing more winds as we head into the day and some possible showers on Thursday. Let's take a look at our lovely computer and we're going to be taking a look at that. Well, let's just uh, talk about weather. We just heard a little bit of thunder and lightning outside. There we go. 73 right now in the Tri-City, 69 in Walla Walla, 67 in Hanford. And as I said, we've seen a little bit of lightning in places. And again, I just heard some thunder, so a little bit of lightning action. Winds are starting to slow down as we're heading into the evening hours. We're going to be seeing tomorrow, though, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. So just get ready for a little bit more winds tomorrow for your Wednesday. And we hear a downpour, go, uh, downpour just hitting us right now, and that is probably this cell right here. And again, we are seeing some of that red. That means a bit of heavy rain. But again, in about uh, 20 minutes after, you're going to see plenty of sunshine. So we're just seeing a little bit of everything. And these showers are going to be moving out, which is good news for the super blood moon eclipse. It begins at 2.30 a.m. tomorrow, very early morning or very late night, depending on how you look at it. The total eclipse will hit at 4.11 and it will end at 4.26. So the odds of seeing it, let's take a look at the future cast. This is right now. You can see the showers will start to dissipate. As we get to 3 a.m., we have quite a bit of Good uh, visibility, Ellensburg, Yakima, but a bit of cloud coverage for Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, Pendleton. So about a 50% chance of seeing it in the mid-Columbia, or maybe a little better. It looks like a good chance in the Yakima Valley and in Ellensburg. So as we head into Wednesday, more sunshine on the way. Should be a pretty darn nice day, but as we head into Thursday, we have a low pressure system coming in, bringing in some shower activity. So get ready for some wetness. And then after that, we're going to see the heat is going to be on as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Overnight tonight, lower 50s, upper 40s, partly cloudy skies. Hope you're able to see the eclipse if you uh, the lunar eclipse if you stay up very late. As we head into tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Some 80s in there, but mostly mid to upper 70s. So your seven day forecast, cooler Thursday and Friday. Again, that chance of showers early. And then we'll be moving into Saturday and Sunday, but by Memorial Day itself, 95. And we expect possibly even warmer temperatures next week. So get ready for a big heat wave on the way. In the Yakima region, down to 69 Thursday, then all the way up to the lower 90s for your Memorial Day. So, a little bit of shower activity. We're hearing it right now in the Tri-Cities. It should dissipate by the time we get to about an hour from now or so. And good luck on that super blood moon tonight. Thank you so much, Jason. Still ahead on Cap KB Local News, a surge of serious crashes in Yakima has police puzzled tonight. We're taking a look at what led up to each one coming up on Cap KB Local News at 630.